Hi guys, welcome to the shop. Well today we're going to fix up one of my cock-ups. I had an issue with my DRO. The one that I cut down to size. I'll bring you over and we'll do a little bit of a reenactment. So this is the scale that I cut down in a previous video. I'll put a link in the description and I'll put a card up in the corner here. So cut it down, mounted it mounted it up here and working great everything was hunky-dory until so next time I went to use my tailstock I'll just bring it in boom tailstock was hitting the cable here so I couldn't push it up right up in into the saddle here because I'm catching it so anyways I thought no problem I'll just remove the P-clip. Oh, lucky it's finger tight. Great, reenactments are great. But no problem. I'll just put it out of the way for now. Bring this in, just be careful at the end, Mike. So I could bring that in, it will still touch, I thought. One day, I'll get around to tidying that up. So anyways, next thing I'm doing, I'm doing a job. So I wound my cross slide back and then when I was doing the job moving this slipped into here. I think you can see what's going to happen. Put the power cross slide on, wound itself back in. Here's the result. It chopped right through the DRO cable. It's like a guillotine here. So there's the other end there. I'll, I'll zoom in and show you that. So as you can see Here's the end of the DRO scale chopped. So what we're going to do today is we're going to remove the scale. We're going to open up the reed head on the DRO scale. And we are going to fix it. Um, I haven't opened up one of these before, so it'll be interesting to have a look. One of the other issues I have is when I installed this scale on the, the side, I covered up the grub screw for locking the movement on here. So what I want to do is, is I'm going to remove this. When I put it back on, I'm going to stand it off. And that way I will change the grub screw for a hex nut so I can put a spanner down and lock the, the movement on this. So we'll give that a go. So first thing I'm going to do is strip all this off. Okay, I'm going to remove this so it makes it easier to get to the compound. Sort of muck will be under here. Yep. So when I originally put this on, I just siliconed this on thinking, oh, I won't be taking that off. That wasn't as bad as I thought. Okay. You can see the nice chopped wire there. We'll go over to the, um, the workbench. Strip this down. We'll open all of this up. And hopefully we can repair this this back into his. All right, let's head over to the workbench. Open this up. That's so just got a couple of little Phillips machine screws. So let's get a container out. Right, we've got a gel covered PCB board in there. Let me see for the okay, I'm gonna have to take I'm gonna take this right off.
Okay, we're going to have to going to have to get this board out. Okay, so what I'm going to do is get rid of this. This this will just be a, a pressure joint onto that ribbon, damaging that as well. Solder. Let me solder. These are actually plastic screwdrivers. They're made for when I work on electronics, so you don't get a, an electrical circuit between you and the electronics. Hear that banging? That's Cynthia's got dinner ready, so she bangs on the floor upstairs. So I know it's time for dinner. Usually about okay. Okay. All right. I'm gonna go have my dinner. We will reconvene after that. What I've done, I've worked away, and I've slowly cleaned all the silicon out of this area. I'm gonna try and wedge it up from these. Holes. Oh. Just have to be careful I don't damage this. I would have liked to have got this out, but we'll see if we can get that out like that. Okay, and then we've got a little bit of movement. And I'm sort of wedging wedging the screwdriver in the hole. Yep, she's coming up. We've got no wires connected. Yes, we do. Oh, that's easy. Let's get a set of long nose pliers. <coughs> so these are soft jaw ones. These pliers, they got no grip on them. Here's the wrong one. I don't know. Is that black on the screen? I think the black one will be the screen. Yep. Okay, and we've lost we've lost the broken wire, but I don't can pretty well see there's a solder joint there. So we'll be able to reconnect that. We'll clean this up. Oh, and that tail's popped out, so we can get rid of that. No, we can't. I think it's just so much. So that just pushes in. It slots in. The slots in here. the slots in there so there'll be a, a wedge under it here so some of them have a wedge there you go and some have a flip up device just want, don't want to get too much silicon around the place so now we've done that that's the board that's the back where we will have to resolder and that's the screen And then we'll just remove this. There you go. Happy of that to stay like that. That is our. So we've got our little container of bits. Often, often these are threaded, and this this screen winds into there. screws out yep 
there's our screen was hooked up to that so this is just threaded to take the the outside steel layer it will just wind in I'll remove from the lathe the rest of the wiring for this one we can get it all re we can get the end cleaned up the screen made off we'll put it back in all the cables through and then re-solder it so I've stripped this out of the um, off the lathe I'm going to wind this sheathing off because I'll man she's tough stuff I'm just going to open it up down to about I'm just trying to think how much I would have lost if I broke it so we'll go in there somewhere so what, what that's gonna thread in all right so I've made a little hole in the screen just push the screen down and then I'm going to push the cables out through it silver paper comes with it but of course this has been so munted on that other end so I want to get into a wire and don't do that I've just cut the cable so I'm going to have to bring it down to here now. I'm going to bunch up my screen. Make a hole in it. Pull my cable out through it. That's normally how it comes out like that. Stretch out the, make a nice cable out of the screen. And this time, be more careful. Now usually there's a string in there. Now the string is often you can pull that down the cable and it will rip it. That off. Okay. So now we'll get some heat shrink and we'll shrink the screen. So now I'm going to cut this cable tie. And then screw this in. Screw, and I'm just screwing that in. There we go, that's it. So there are our cables ready to go. Alright, let's solder it all up. Good morning all. Back on our DRO scale where I'm going to repair it. I've Overnight I've done a little bit of research on the pinout for these cables. I don't want to open any of my other DROs because as you saw it was all siliconed up. So after a bit of, I'll just bring you in a bit closer here. So I took the cover off this, the, the other end, and I got my cable colorings. And I've also got one last cable connected to this little board here. Um, I took a photo and I'll put a couple of photos up on screen so you can see. Um, 
that I can see the pinout numbers on here. And I do have my red connected. I'm using this pinout out of the, the book that came with my DRO. I know number seven is red for two reasons. I still have the voltage connected on this little board here. I'll put a picture in and you can actually see it very clearly. DCC, zero volts, A, B and R. So we've got A, BC, A, BCC, B. Interesting, this one says no connection. It definitely had a connection on it because when I zoom in, you'll see it in the picture. There was a cable connected. Um, and I know number nine on, I have, I've pulled down another off the internet. Number nine has an R connected to it. And I have R on this little board. So I have my five connections, which we are going to reconnect to this board. So I'm going to set up to do my soldering, and we'll go through that process. You want to give your old surface as a little, I usually use a knife or a sharp screwdriver. I just want to give them a scrape over to remove. I'm going to solder directly. I'm going to try and unsolder, but I doubt it. Into there. Because of that silicon on the other side. So you just want to keep the solder tip clean. I'm just giving it a scrape over. You'll have the same problem here, I'd say. Put a bit of solder on my tip. I'm just going to go over each contact. I'm a bit of a shaker, which doesn't help. I'm going to blob of solder. exactly what I wanted. Okay. Okay, that's a tricky type system. Now we're gonna take our take our soldering iron and we're just gonna in in each one once again it's trying to get the shape so always had it even when I've been all my life when I've been soldering we're just getting solder into the cable right, so what we now we will do we're going to trim these off until they're a, a millimetre or two long. easier if you don't shake. Okay. So that's our board resoldered. Now what I would normally do, and I think I will, is I usually get my hot glue gun, and on the, so that I take the pressure off those wires. Normally if they go through the holes, before, because without wires they're just holes like this. You can put them through and solder them. You get a lot more strength than this. So I'm just going to 
get my hot glue gun. I'm actually going to use my grandkids one because it's a low heat one. And I'm just going to put a big blob of hot glue over there so it will just support all those wires. Hot glue this area up. And it will just take the pressure off those cables. So as you can see, that just takes the tension off the cables pulling on that joint. Put our ribbon through the slot. I've got it there, I will put that cover back on. So that's it. So now we can actually put it back in. I've put a bit of hot glue around these edges just to let it hold because now we'll go and give it a try. So we'll take that over now and plug it in and see how it works. Okay, let's plug her in. Let's go around the front now. Okay, here we go. Perfect. Happy with that. Okay, so now I'll put the end back on and make my packers where I've got it on the cross slide. I'm going to call that done on this one. Um, I'll do the, the running it back to the control unit, to the readout. Um, that was very successful. It was a little bit um, trickier this than I expected, but we got there. Um, it was a bit tricky to get out and to solder, and then all the wires had gone. Give it a go, though. If you have a... The worst thing I could have done is had to go and buy a new one. Um, but that's working absolutely. Oh, bring you in there. Beautiful. Okay, guys, that worked out really well. Here's the packers I put in, and two down here on the reed head. Gives me my gap that I wanted so that I can lock my cross slide. I'd really missed having the, the scale on this one, so it's good to have it back in use. I've already used it, it's really accurate, as accurate as it was. Um, so I'm pleased with the outcome. Thanks for coming along, I hope you enjoyed it, I hope you got something out of it, and I'll see you on the next video.